on our way to Mbombela. We are leaving Mshonga. Actually, we've left Mshonga. So yesterday, I was so tired. I was extremely exhausted. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't go anywhere. I just woke up. Okay, so this is our accommodation in Mbombela. I forgot the name of the place. Um, so as you walk in, we have the door obviously here. Right. And then we have a flat screen there. Cupboards there. There's a lot of cupboards. Now, workstation here and then I have a bed I have a bed here and then um, we have like a mini kitchen here The microwave cups, cutlery plates, 
is they gave us some in insect repellent thing to as well. Already I feel like something bit me. And then there's a bin here. Then this is the shower. And the toilet. Excuse the lighting. And we have a basin here. And that is the room tour done. Okay, guys. We're officially, <laughs> we're officially in Bombello. So I took a shower, but I didn't do a great job because you can still see my eyeliner here. Because there was no um, electricity when I got here. It just came back now. Hey, but like every single time when we get to the accommodation, Zarona, literally, like either a fila, when I low shading, or low shading just happened. Like, yeah, what's the word? It just happens, you know, like as we arrive, we just get low shaded So, yeah, I don't know. But, um, we are here. I think I'm gonna sleep early today because tomorrow we're, we're a bit busy. It's a busy day. So, yeah, guys, I think I'll end today's um, video here and I'll pick up the camera again tomorrow morning. Day one of Mbombela. I'm exhausted. So we're off to where? Off to? We're off to Chasco now. It's currently 10 o'clock. We're late as usual. What's new? So Javi says it's going to be an hour and a half drive from where we are to Chasco. So we'll get there on about half 11. check in I will check in when we get to Frasco hello everyone we are at the pinnacle rock so we paid 20 bucks each so this is where we are Um, looks very it's nice. It's reminding me of my geology days when I was still a geologist. Hubby doesn't want to be here. He is just tired and sleepy and he's just complaining. He's just a lot of things. Look at him. <laughs> but I love him, Shane. I don't blame him. He's been driving. He's been driving, Shane. Do not go beyond this point. So we have arrived at God's window. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yes, honeys. Look at that. Yeah. Nope. 
Beautiful. We're leaving now. I'm not sure where we're off to, but we're leaving God's window now. We're going somewhere. It's a bit. I'm tired. It's hot. But hey. Very hot, guys. It's extremely really hot. Why must I take the drones? They will take better, better take pictures. Better pictures. Exactly. You just send it today where you can go. And then again. Like you see, I've not explained Potoliki in. Wait, I can have to see where we are exactly, and then I will. Is it that. a hole? Yeah, yeah, it's holes. Okay. Patience, young one. Patience. All right, let's go see holes. Let's go see holes. Ooh, this water is coming this way. How do you feel in the camera? YouTuber, they are so called this as well. Good morning, everyone. It is day two of Mumbella. So, this is our last day actually here. Yeah? We're going to the Sagwana Caves and then Harry saw um, some dinosaur thingy magics. He wants to do that as well and then we're driving straight home to Joby in his bag. I must say I'm a little excited to go back home because I am tired AF. I am tired. It's been awesome, it's been great, but now it's time to go home now. So I'll 
we'll check in when we get to the what are the cakes called again? Sadwana cakes. The latest. Yes. I'm proud of myself. My makeup is not bad. That place there, there is zero sunlight. And it's very dangerous doing your makeup with no sunlight because they might just turn yourself into a ghost. But I think I did a great job. I was a baby like that yeah is that convincing What is the bell or a stadium? I think it's that direction. Yeah, this is the route that we took yesterday. And then your know, ways kind of hooked the area. It made us go straight. You see, you don't need ways when you have me, buddy. Of course I don't. I have a GPS myself. Yes, I have a GPS for you. 19. You mean GPS? 19. Yes. Thank you. the best I can do guys I'm not sure where the main entrance is and we're running out of time for places to be so that's Mbombeller Stadium let's go buddy no that was gate 4 The roads are not only telling us smoking. It's only, it's only, yeah. It's a story as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Very well, it looked like a horse head. You see that? Eye, nose, mouth. It looked like a horse head. Can you proceed? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let me wait for him to go. Ooh, my bag. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, 
So as you can see, this is water, but the water acts like mirror. It reflects the upper part of the rock. You can see the formation that are forming on the upper rock through the water. And the water is not deep, it's just like this, you see. So, so, yeah. I think I'm getting up. Okay guys, I'm just checking in. I am oily as crazy. Um, so we just finished the dinosaur park. We just did the dinosaur park right now, and hubby is there somewhere there. He's buying a Boulevard roll because he felt like buying a Boulevard roll. I had a fold over in the morning, so I'm still not. I'm still not hungry. Um, so. Yeah, I'm exhausted though. Ooh, nail spray. Nail spray is freaking hot. It is hot. Like a heater. So from here, we are driving straight to Johannesburg. We're so going back home now. It's been fun. It's been awesome. But it's time to go back home now. Okay, everybody, we are done with this Dwarga Cave. It was nice, very humid in there. activity and I will catch you in my next one.